hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. We're going to wait for everyone to log in. So if you're on the call on the webinar right now, please raise your hand so that I can see that you could hear me. Okay, great, thank you all. So just bear with me. We're gonna wait a couple minutes for everybody to get on the call and then we'll get started. Okay, great. Good evening, everyone. This is Monica. I'm going to start the webinar now for us. So today is Monday, February 25th, and the topic of our webinar for this month is on Girl Scout Week. So we're going to go over some details. For now, I want to make sure you can hear me okay. So you should have a dialog box on, the, on your screen somewhere, and on that dialog box, you should have an option to raise your hand or also enter questions. So if you cannot hear me well, please let me know via the question option. But I'm hoping you can hear me okay. I have my speakers on. Great. Okay, thank you, Heather. I got your comment. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am happy to have you all join us today. And I'm sharing my screen so you can see the PowerPoint presentation that we're going to be going over. So I expect today to be about 30 minutes or so. I'm hoping that I can take any questions or if we have anybody on the webinar that would like to share some ideas, um, that would be great also. I also have some handouts for you that you may already see available on your screen. Um, you'll have an option called handouts and you'll see there there's three handouts that i made available that we will go over so let's go ahead and get started so the topic as i mentioned is girl scout week 2019 and well this is my information here so for those of you that don't know me my name is monica hasso i'm the director of volunteer experience my phone number and my email is listed on the screen now so if there's anything that you didn't quite hear or need to reference or need to call me or email me for whatever reason, please do not hesitate to do that. I also will be recording this webinar so that everybody has access to it. Um, what we do is we record the OWLs, which we, this is what I call an online workshop for learning or OWL. That's what this is tonight. I, it's recorded automatically, and then once we're complete and we're done, we'll upload it to our website's YouTube account. So our council has a YouTube account that you can access this and lots of other videos specific to our council. All right, so let's keep going. So before we actually get into the agenda and what we're going to go over as far as details, I want to ask you, everybody that's on the webinar, how familiar you are with Girl Scout Week overall. So I'm going to launch a poll, which is a question that you'll see. And it's a very simple question. So what I want to know is how familiar you are with Girl Scout Week. So you can choose either very familiar somewhat familiar or not at all familiar. There is no right or wrong answer, of course. So I'm just kind of want to gauge who I have and 
on the webinar tonight. All right, so it looks like 67% of the votes are coming in. I'll give you a few more seconds before I close it. Are you very familiar with Girl Scout Week? Somewhat familiar or not at all familiar? All right, 10 more seconds. Please vote. All right, so I'm gonna close the poll now and I will show you the results. So out of everyone that's on the webinar tonight, 13% um, of you said you're very familiar with Girl Scout Week, awesome. 56% of you said you're somewhat familiar with Girl Scout Week, so that's the most popular one. And 31% of you said not at all. So we have a nice variety, I'm happy to see that. My goal is that by the end of this short webinar, you at least be more familiar with it than you were when you started, of course. And for those of you that are somewhat or very familiar, I would hope that you would also share ideas either through the question option or um, I'll see if I can unmute you at the end of the webinar if you'd like to share. I may not be able to do that depending on how I have this set up, but we can try. So it's thank you all for answering that. Let's go ahead and continue with our presentation. Okay, so this is what we're gonna go over tonight. What is Girl Scout Week? Very briefly, we'll go over that. Why do we have Girl Scout Week? I think why is always an important question to ask whenever we do anything, um, particularly with Girl Scouts and our girls. When is Girl Scout Week? We'll go over the official answer for that. Then we'll go over daily themes that we have available. And that's where we get into the specifics, particularly for our council, of what we offer um, as options that you can do during Girl Scout Week. So we'll go over all of this tonight. First off, what is Girl Scout Week? So very simply, it's a party. It's a time to celebrate Girl Scouting. And the funner, the better. Why we have Girl Scout Week, it's fun. Girl Scouts has been around for over 100 years, as, as you probably are familiar with. So in those 100 plus years, it's actually 107 years this year, there's a lot of traditions that are had, a lot of significance to that. So this whole celebration of the Girl Scout Week adds meaning to what we do as Girl Scouts for these 100 years. It's a way to celebrate all of our sister Girl Scouts while remembering why we are in Girl Scouts. So Girl Scout Week is the same nationally, of course, or globally. So everybody gets an opportunity to share in the festivities of Girl Scout Week. It's also a sense of pride. You'll see that there's different themes where girls and volunteers and parents and staff can show their sense of pride for being in Girl Scouting. And then also it's a sense of connection. So with, as with a lot of things that we do in Girl Scouts, we want to emphasize the connection that our girls, so your troop girls, for example, are connected to other troop girls in the service unit that you belong to. And then those Girl Scouts in the service units are connected to council Girl Scouts all across our council, so on and so forth. So it happens nationally and on a global scale. So this is a great way to give them that sense of connection through the Girl Scout Week celebration. I will stop every now and then to see if you have any questions. So if you hear me um, pausing, that's what I'm doing. All right, so that's why we have Girl Scout Week. Now to get to the next question, when is Girl Scout Week? So officially Girl Scout Week is every March it starts with the Girl Scout Sunday and ends with Girl Scout Sabbath or Saturday. And it's always the week that includes March 12th. March 12th, of course, is Girl Scout's birthday, not to be confused with the birthday of our founder, Juliet Gordon Lowe, that's in October. But March 12th is the date that Girl Scouting was founded in 
the United States of America. So that's why we celebrate the week that it falls on as Girl Scout Week. It commemorates that day in 1912 when she registered, Juliet registered the organization's first 18 girl members in Savannah, Georgia. So it's always going to be the week that contains March 12th. The dates will vary, of course, depending on what week of the year that is. So before I go into more specifics of how we celebrate Girl Scout Week, I want to make it really clear that there's lots of options to celebrate Girl Scout Week. It's a full seven days of celebrations. And as you've heard me say, there's 112 councils in our country. So every council will put out some type of celebration, suggestions, or options. So you'll see a lot of things online. GSUSA also has a blog. I have the website there on your screen where they also give you some suggestions and recommendations on how you can celebrate Girl Scout Week with your troop, right? Because that's why we're here tonight. So keep in mind, there's lots of options that you can choose from. Um, there's 112 councils, they each have their own. For the rest of this evening and this presentation, all that I'm gonna talk about specifically is what our council, Girl Scouts of the Desert Southwest, has offered as suggestions to you. It's up to you and your troop, however, to choose the best thing, um, the best way to celebrate for you and your girls. You know your girls better than anybody. Speak to your girls, find out, you know, what they would like to do to celebrate Girl Scout Week. So from here on, I'll go into detail specifically for our council and ideas that we have seen that would be good to bring up to your girls. So this is how our Girl Scout Council has chosen to celebrate Girl Scout Week. So traditionally, for the past several years, we do a theme for every day of Girl Scout Week. So that way you have an option or your girl and her Girl Scouts and her family have an option of participating in that theme for the week or not. Now, you're not required, of course, to do any of this. And you're definitely not required to do every single day. This is all for fun, all an option. The more our girls and our families and volunteers are involved with Girl Scout Week, however, the more of a sense of pride we all have, the more we recognize the strength behind our movement, and um, the more fun the girls have as well. So seven days of action focused on a powerful yet simple way to get involved. That's what you see here Sunday through Saturday. So you can go to our website and you'll find this graphic along with the details for each one. So for the rest of these slides tonight, I'm gonna go over them one by one. And then I'm gonna give you some ideas that we've seen, suggestions, I'm open to any that you have as well. And I also will reference the handouts that I mentioned earlier that are available to you. So let's go ahead and start with Sunday. Let me make sure you guys don't have any questions for me. Okay. So for Sunday starts Girl Scout Week, and this year it is Sunday, March 10th. So Sunday is to participate, the option is to participate in a religious service, earn the My Promise, My Faith pin, or serve God or your country in your own way. So you have there on your screen an example of the requirements for the My Promise, My Faith. That's a good suggestion if you'd like to participate in this day's theme with your troop. Um, you can do that. Um, we also leave the option for the girls to celebrate this day in their own way with their family. So you can leave it up to their family to do that on their own. Um, but here's one idea that I promise my faith. One of the handouts that I attached to this webinar that you should be able to download is labeled Girl Scout Sunday and Sabbath ideas. So if you open up that document, that's it contains a lot of ideas for what you can do if you're looking to celebrate this Sunday with your Girl Scout troop. So I know that in some areas of our council, we have a Girl Scout Sunday where we've coordinated with certain churches in town and we'll have a special event where Girl Scouts attend in their uniform and there's been a collaboration with the church 
to celebrate Girl Scout Week in this way. So the handout that you have available gives you ideas of what to do if you are wanting to organize something like that in your community with your parish or your church. It walks you step by step of what you can do and um, all the way down to you know offering cookies and milk at the end or before. And it's all um, positive and it's all the girls really enjoy it as well as the community members. So that's your Girl Scout Sunday. All right, the next day is Monday, of course. So for our council, we chose Monday as a theme to give back to your community by volunteering with the, girl, with the local organization. Of course, you want the girls and your troop to decide what organization they would like to give back to. They can volunteer their time or they can donate items to a cause that they support. So we see Girl Scout troops um, give back to all sorts of organizations, whether they want to give back to animals, whether they want to give back to the elderly community, whether they want to give back to our men and women um, in the armed forces, whether they want to give back to some type of organization that helps the environment. So whatever the girls choose to do, Monday is a day for them to give back in honor of Girl Scout Week. The next day is Tuesday. So Tuesday is March 12th this week. So that officially is the Girl Scout birthday. That This year, in 2019, we celebrate 107 years of Girl Scouting, which I think is amazing and fabulous and so rich um, in what we can offer. So Tuesday is the birthday. A couple of ideas you can do with your Girl Scouts is to throw a birthday for Girl Scouts. So I've seen troops bake a cake or bring a cake and sing happy birthday to Girl Scouts, just as simple as that, or cupcakes. Celebrate with birthday cake, party games, and more, just like a regular birthday card, or birthday party, sorry. You can, they can invite sister Girl Scouts and friends who are not yet Girl Scouts to kind of let them know what we do. And you can ask all the guests to bring a birthday gift that you could donate to a local organization. So that's just one idea or several ideas of what your troop can do to celebrate Girl Scout Week on Tuesday. Now, keep in mind, as I go through the dates, I am going through the dates specifically, but you don't have to do all of this exactly on Tuesday. So if your troop meets Friday, you can still do this on Friday, of course. Don't feel like you have to do it on specifically that day. One of the handouts in this webinar is called Kim's Game. And that's something that's been around traditionally in Girl Scouts for a long, long time. And it's just one example of how you can have fun at your party celebrating Girl Scouts and Girl Scouting. So that's available to you in the handout section. One idea that we have seen at our council that gets a lot of attention, um, girls love it, hospitals love it, community loves it, new mom gets it, is to welcome the first baby girl born on or after Girl Scouts birthday of March 12th. So troops will prepare ahead of time, which is why we have this webinar way, hopefully way ahead of Girl Scout week. The troop would prepare items, or it could be a service unit event. They would prepare items to give to a baby girl born on March 12th, the very first baby girl. So she would be the honorary Girl Scout. Um, sometimes I see them given onesies that say, you know, Girl Scout on the onesie. You would have to work with the hospital, of course, to make sure that this is okay to do. And then, of course, they would work with the family that's giving birth to the first Girl Scout on March 12th to make sure that it is okay for them to do also. If you do get the okay to do this and you move forward, make sure you take pictures and the local newspapers and you know organizations um, in your town love to hear these feel good stories. So send them your pictures, send them your story, and then hopefully they'll publish it in a local uh, publication where you're at. This picture is actually from Silver City. 
So a few years ago, our Girl Scout troops in Silver City were in the paper because they did this for the first Girl Scout born on March 12th. So that's one idea that of something you can do on March 12th. So I'm gonna pause to see if you have any questions. And if you do, please let me know. If you also have something to share that you've done on Girl Scouts birthday, March 12th, or during Girl Scout week, please take the time to enter it in the question or the chat option. Okay, so let's keep going. I don't see any questions so far. Let me keep going here. So we're on March 12th, which is Tuesday this week. So moving along to Wednesday. The theme for Wednesdays of Girl Scout Week for 2019 for the Girl Scouts of the Desert Southwest Council, we've chosen to go with the STEM theme. So this is the day that you can work with your girls, with your troop, on completing a badge related to science, technology, engineering, or math. Um, challenge you and your troop to think outside the box, find a new way to do something, share your idea with other Girl Scout sisters or your family as well. So here is a picture of some of the newer STEM badges released by GSUSA. And let me take the time to also emphasize the ease, convenience, and um, tool called the volunteer toolkit. So if you have not had a chance to log in as a troop leader into the volunteer toolkit, please do so. You will see all of these badges and more in the volunteer toolkit. We've had other webinars on the volunteer toolkit. There's tutorial videos on our website, so I won't go into more detail than that, but STEM is the theme for Wednesday. So please take the time with your Girl Scouts, with your troop to do a STEM related badge or activity to take care of the Wednesday theme. Thursday of Girl Scout week is Pride Day or Spirit Day. So we encourage you and your troop to wear your Girl Scout uniform or your Girl Scout swag to school or around town. If you can collaborate with your school where your Girl Scouts attend, for them to be able to get approval to wear their Girl Scout uniform or their Girl Scout t-shirts on Thursday, that's what we're looking for. We want to kind of paint, you know, everywhere around us Girl Scout green. So if you do get that approval and your girls do that, please take pictures and share them on social media using the hashtag Girl Scout Spirit with anything that you're doing actually during Girl Scout week. I cannot stress enough how much we would like for you to take pictures and share them with us with this hashtag or share them or send them to our Facebook, Girl Scouts of the Desert Southwest Facebook page. That would be great. We would really appreciate it. We want to give you all notice and recognition for being out there in the community doing all these great things. Um, if you will be doing this on Thursday, please make sure you get permission from the school ahead of time. And again, take those pictures. So Thursday is Girl Scout Spirit Day. Friday is the outdoor day. And we did it Friday because it is the start of the weekend. We thought of doing this Saturday, but then you'll see in a little bit why, why that um, didn't happen. But Friday is Get Outdoors Day. So get together with your girls and your troop. Go outdoors, do an activity. And, or maybe learn one of the basic camping skills, such as outdoor manners, dressing for the outdoors, knots, knives, building a fire, outdoor cooking, first aid, how to set up a campsite. So any of these things, some of these you can do in your troop meeting, but they're still preparing girls to go outdoors. Of course, it's best if you can take the girls outdoors, or that's locally, or farther, um, that's completely up to you, depending on the level of comfort and progression that you're at with your troop. But Friday is dedicated, Friday of Girl Scout Week for our council is dedicated to getting your girls outdoors. 
And then that brings us to Saturday, which is the last day of the seven days we've gone over for Girl Scout Week. Saturday, you have two options. So it's Girl Scout Sabbath. So you can choose to attend a religious service and wear your Girl Scout uniform. Girls can choose to do that, to sing or say or sing a grace at a meal. Keep in mind the handout that I, I mentioned earlier the, that gives you ideas on Girl Scout Sunday and Sabbath. Or you can choose to give back to the planet, show your love for the planet by participating in a recycling program or a community trash event in honor of Girl Scouts. So on Saturday, you have there's two options that your troop can do. So that brings us all the way to the end of Girl Scout week. I'm gonna see if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments. So I do have some, so give me just a minute while I read them. I have a question. What else can we do instead of going to a hospital? So if you're speaking about March 12th, Girl Scout birthday this year, you can do a lot of other things besides going to a hospital. You could choose to have your a birthday party in your troop setting, um, like I mentioned in the slide, where you have birthday cake, you sing happy birthday together, make birthday card for Girl Scouts. That's one option. You can choose to do any of the themes that we've talked about on March 12th, actually, if you would prefer. You can choose to do a feel good story that maybe you'd like to send to your local newspaper on something that your Girl Scouts have done in honor of Girl Scout Week. So there's really lots and lots of options. Um, and I'd love to hear from other people and see what you do in your areas. Okay. All right. So let me keep going. And then I think you'll also hear of other ideas that you can do besides the, the giving a baby girl a basket. So now that we're at the end of the week, I wanted to talk about something that's more official that a lot of our areas do, but not everybody knows about or knows how to start. And that's the Girl Scout Proclamation. So the Girl Scout Proclamation is an official event. You get an official document from either your city council or your county office. So here is an example of what a proclamation looks like. So the city governments, county governments will do these all the time for different reasons. We want to take advantage of that to bring visibility to Girl Scouting and the great things that we do by having a proclamation during Girl Scout week. So this, of course, requires that you plan ahead of time. Depending on where you're from, it may take you may have to plan it a year ahead or it could be fine to do it a couple of weeks so it's completely for you to find out based on where you're at so one of the documents that we put together this year which is really original to our council so we're the first ones to do it that i can see is in your handouts so in your handout section you have something called girl scout proclamations so if you click on that, it looks like this. I hope you can see it on, on the screen here. Yes, you should be able to. So this is the proclamation packet. So we try to go step by step and give you tools to do this in your community. Keep in mind that in El Paso, if you're joining us from El Paso, we do that as a council. So we already set that up. So please don't contact your City Council in El Paso, because we, we're already doing that. In fact, every year we do that way ahead of time and we have it all scheduled. So, however, because we're such a vast council, we would love it if other areas across our council that are interested would do this. Check with your staff member overseeing your area to see if they are already setting that up. So for example, if you're in Odessa, if you're in Midland, if you're in Silver City, if you're in Roswell, if you're in Carlsbad, check with your staff member overseeing that area, which is usually your membership manager. And if you're not, 
talk to them about this and see if you can work together to set something up. So this packet has several pages, but it goes over how to set up general information, so how to prepare ahead of time. There's an example brief proclamation. Everything that's in yellow means that you would have to change every year to make sure it's updated. There's even an example email to send to parents or leaders because, again, you want to have Girl Scouts at this event. It's a formal event. You want to represent Girl Scouting well, so you want to be very detailed in the expectations given to the parents so that they can prepare their Girl Scouts who are going to be attending as well. So that's just a little information on how to set up the proclamation. And then I think at the end, you have a picture of what one in El Paso looks like. So the completely original document to our council, we just started it. So this will keep evolving and changing. Once we have a final, final version, we'll put it on our website so that everybody can have access to it. For attending the webinar tonight, you are the first group to actually see it. Use it as you see fit. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for it. So that's Girl Scout Proclamation. Let me see if you have any questions for me. Okay. I do have a question. It's a great question and I, I, I'm glad it came up. So we have a question. Is there a patch for every day? It's a great question. I'm sorry I didn't mention it earlier. So right now our council does not have a custom patch for doing Girl Scout week at our council or for every day. However, there are generic Girl Scout week patches that you can purchase from the shops. They do have them in stock. So if you as a troop leader want to celebrate Girl Scout week and however you, you decide to do that with your girls, you can give them that patch for participating or at the end. That's completely up to you. I do hope and we'll be working towards having a custom patch for Girl Scout week for our council next year. So I, I really look forward to that. For now, you can buy the generic patches and then have give those to the girls when you participate or complete, you know, Girl Scout Week. I hope that answers your question. If not, just let me know. I do have another question. And the question is, um, yes. So the question is, do we use the proclamation for celebrating the week? So the proclamation that is in the handout, yes. The proclamation that's in the handout that you have attached to your webinar, it's a very brief proclamation. You can use that. So what you'll do is when you communicate with the city or with the county, they're going to set up a date with you if you're organizing it. Remember, you want to talk to the staff member overseeing your area to make sure they're not already doing that. If you are organizing that date with your city or county, they will ask you for their proclamation so that they have it ahead of time and they read it. So this is an example of one that you can send them. Absolutely. I hope that answers your question. Yes, okay, great. So let me move forward. We're almost done here and then I'm happy to take any more questions. So we talked about the whole, the, all the seven days of Girl Scout Week and the different themes we have to celebrate them. We talked about the proclamation. And then again, I hope you can see this picture. This is a picture of, again, Silver City, who was in the newspaper the day that they had their Girl Scout Week proclamation. So the handout outlines exactly what you want to do. You want to be in uniform. You want to have some Girl Scouts. You want to take some cookies. Walks you step by step. You want to take great pictures, of course. So I just wanted to highlight this picture from Silver City. All right, and I think that takes us to the end of this webinar. I'm going to see if you have any other questions. Remember that you have the handouts available. So I am going to check. All 
Okay. So I have a question of when the El Paso proclamation will be presented. Thank you for asking that. Um, I don't have the exact date, but the person that organizes that, and in fact, I have to give credit. I don't know if she's on the webinar or not, but the, per, the staff member who gave me all of the information for the handout, because she does this every year, is Yolanda Molina, or Yoli. She organizes the proclamation in El Paso. So if you wouldn't mind emailing her, contacting her, and I know she's been working on that and the date's coming up pretty, pretty soon. Okay, so that takes us to the end of the presentation on Girl Scout Week for our council, Girl Scouts of the Desert Southwest. I am here to take any questions that you have, but otherwise um, enjoy the handouts. Give me any and all feedback. I did want to show you one thing before we, we go here. So if you go to, if you go online, as I mentioned earlier, there's lots of resources out there from lots of different councils. This is the Girl Scout blog. They, it was released Friday, February 15th. So if you can see that, this is the GSUSA blog that they have on different topics every month. But this topic was on the Girl Scout week. And you'll see that they have a similar way of celebrating the week with themes. Their themes are different than our council. We released ours first, so we did not have a chance to sync them. We may have done that. I, I don't know if we would have, but I just wanted to show you where the Girl Scout blog is. I also want to show you where you can find the information for our council. This is Girl Scouts of the Desert Southwest. If you go to our homepage and you scroll down, you see under news, we have Girl Scout Week 2019, and it goes through everything that I went over with you day by day. So I wanted to show that to you. I hope that helps a little bit. Then the last thing I did not show you was the handout on Girl Scout Sunday and Sabbath. So I hope you were able to open this. You can download it. And this is a very comprehensive handout on op things you can do to celebrate Girl Scout Sunday and Sabbath. So all sorts of even prayers, depending on your, your religion and maybe having a reception after service. So this is very detailed, very well put together. Um, feel free and use that as you would like. Okay. So I just wanted to take the time to show that to you. I'm here if you have any questions before I end the presentation. Let me check one last time. Okay, I don't see any questions. So thank you all for coming and joining our webinar. I hope you found it useful. I hope you learned a little bit something more than what you knew when you started. I try not to go too much into details, um, but give you a broad overview as well. So I hope that you also take the time to celebrate Girl Scout Week with your Girl Scouts, with your troop, with your community. If you need anything, you know where to reach me. And, and we're happy to help. So thank you again and have a good evening and have a very, very happy Girl Scout week.